हेलो एवरीवन आई एम सृष्टि एंड वेलकम टू योर वेरी ओन चैनल योग रीति टुडे आई ब्रिंग टू यू अ विन्यासा योगा सेशन फॉर एवरी बिगिनर्स एंड एडवांस बिगिनर्स नाउ आई क्रिएटेड एन इंटरमीडिएट सीरीज एंड मेनी ऑफ यू मैसेज मी दैट यू आर फाइंडिंग इट अ लिटिल डिफिकल्ट टू डू और यू आर नॉट एबल टू कैच अप विद द विन्यासा so i thought why not create a series of vinyasa sequence that will be very accessible to every beginner so that all of us can practice it and all of us can feel strong together so let us start now we'll start the practice by coming into a very comfortable seated posture let us first understand the breath that we need to follow throughout vinyasa so just come into a seated comfortable posture both the legs crossed in sukhasana or even vajrasana if you find that more comfortable just relax keep the spine straight and breathe easy both the hand rested on the thighs take a breath in and a breath out breathe in and breath out continue the calming breath observe if you're focusing too much on the exhalation and maybe not on the inhalation try to even the inhalation and exhalation samavritti equal length of inhalation and exhalation so let us observe the breath breathe in and out at your own pace keep the abdomen engaged face relaxed please understand that vinyasa requires a good breath work so please don't ignore this practice of breath breathe in just one more minute and I'm very gently open your eyes Vinyasa is nothing but the movement of body synchronized with the breath so one movement one breath so now we we'll stand to the front of the mat and start our vinyasa I take the first one very slowly so that all of us can catch up and understand where we are at currently and then with the second round we'll increase the pace just a little bit more So standing to the front of the mat come into your tadasana both the feet very well grounded the abdomen engaged don't let the belly just hang out try to just engage the belly here both the hand to the side breathe in and out here find your balance and now with an inhale slowly raise both of your arms up join the palms together Exhale slowly start hinging from the hips slowly gently bring both of your hand down if you're not able to reach the ground you can even hold your anchor or somewhere in your calf whatever feels more comfortable take a breath in here and a breath out with the next inhale slowly start lengthening the spine so spine lengthened almost our spine is parallel to the ground looking forward at a 45 degree angle breathe in here and breathe out slowly bring both of the hand down take your time and take both of the feet back coming into your plank both of the palms are very well grounded fingers very well spread take a breath in here exhale 
slowly go for chaturanga or sashtang whatever you choose chaturanga inhale gently lift yourself up to bhujangasana or adho mukha svanasana whatever feel more comfortable look forward and exhale slowly lift your hip up go for adho mukha svanasana take a moment here observe the breath slowly with an inhale bring both of your legs forward gently take your own time no rush here and come into utkatasana or the chair pose for beginners both the hand can rest right next to your chest heart center breathe in here core engage look forward breathe in breathe out take a moment understand the posture and now slowly exhale bring both of the hand down again take your feet back into your plank if the plank feels uncomfortable too much you can always rest your knees onto the ground let me do with the knees this time so inhale in your half plank exhale slowly i'll start dipping my chest down so this time i'm taking sashtang namaskara and not chaturanga you can choose your variation whatever you like you can just do that slowly look at me i'm bringing my chest down and letting it rest on to the ground inhale slowly lifting up again coming into bhujangasana and exhale curling the back toes adho mukha svanasana so here we are not moving with the breath but in each movement we are actually taking few breath to absorb the practice adho mukha svanasana you can always bend the knee if you want to but try to keep the spine straight slowly inhale again bring both of your feet forward take your time no rush here it is a little difficult to bring the feet forward in one breath take your time inhale again lengthen the spine exhale hinge from the hips let your chest really go close to your thighs just as much as you want bend the knee how much ever you want or keep the knee straight whatever you feel and then again inhale lift yourself up coming to tadasana so you might have observed that we ended up in the posture from where we started so it's almost like taking a complete cycle and coming back to where you were so mounting and dismounting in the same way now we'll do the second round at a little faster pace so we'll not hold each of the postures for few breath let us see how it feels just try to relax your breath breathe with the movement with your nose not with the open mouth so let us start again coming into tadasana breathe in and out here take a moment inhale raise both of your arms up join the palms exhale hinge from your hip bring your hand down padha hastasana inhale lift your spine straight half lift exhale take your time bring both of the feet back knee on the floor or raise whatever you choose half plank or full plank take a breath in here exhale chaturanga or sashtang whatever you choose inhale lift yourself up bhujanga asana exhale slowly curl the back toes adho mukha svanasana inhale both of the feet forward come into your chair pose take your time i know some of you might take more than one breath to come here it's okay i'm waiting for you here take a breath in here exhale again both the hands down feet backward plank or half plank whatever you choose exhale chaturanga or sashtang inhale up dog exhale down dog 
five breaths here. One, you can always bend if your knee if you want to. Keep the belly engaged. This is like a resting moment for you. Before we go for the third round. Two, three, four, and five. Take your own time. Take as many steps as you want to and bring the feet forward. Take your time. I'm here waiting for you. Inhale, half lift, spine straight. Exhale, hinge from the hips, go down. And inhale, samastiti. Whew. For the bigness, it must be challenging. You are feeling the sweat now. Let's go for the third round. Try to make yourself more comfortable now. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, hinge from the hips, go down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plank or half plank. Take a breath, inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Good. Inhale, both of your feet forward. Come into your chair posture. Both of the hand to your heart or raised high. Whatever feels more comfortable. Take a breath. Inhale. Exhale. Once again, come to your plank or half plank. Take a breath. Inhale. Exhale. Chaturanga. Inhale. Up dog. And exhale, down dog. Five breaths. Catch up with the breath here. Make the most of this time. If you want, you can even come into the child pose. If you feel you're really tired, just five counts. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, if you are in your child pose, again come into your down dog. And with an inhale, slowly bring both of your feet forward. Take your time. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hinge from the hips, go down. Inhale, samastiti. So we did three rounds of vinyasa A. Now let us go for the three rounds of Vinyasa B. Now Vinyasa A and B are the sequences that are practiced a lot in my intermediate series. So I really want you to practice this and get comfortable with it. Okay, let's go for Vinyasa B. Find your breath here. Ready? Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, hinge from the hips, go down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plank or half plank, whatever you choose. Take a breath, inhale. Exhale, chaturanga or sashtang namaskara. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Now in your down dog, gently bring both of your heels together, toes still apart like a V shape. Slowly take your own time, use your hand support if you want to and bring the right feet in front just between both of your palms. And slowly lift yourself up, both the hand onto your waist. For a beginner, even hand on the waist is very fine, completely okay. Feels comfortable, both the hand can come to your chest. Still comfortable, both the hand raised high. This is Veer Bhadra Asana A or Warrior One Posture. Take a breath, inhale. Exhale, both the hands down. 
right feet back plank or half plank inhale here exhale chaturanga inhale up dog exhale down dog breathe in the first round we are taking few breaths in each posture in each posture so relax okay we'll do the same thing on the other side again heels together feet still as it is creating a v shape with your feet and gently bring the left feet forward in between both of your hand take your time find the balance it's okay to take time and lift yourself up both of the hand to your waist to your heart or raise high whatever you choose take a breath in here exhale both the hands down left feet back find the balance breathe in here exhale chaturanga inhale up dog exhale down dog good you are doing just amazing you must be feeling the sweat by now i am feeling a lot of sweat because of the good lights <laughs> also because of the humid weather here breathe five breaths 1 2 3 4 and 5 gently bring both of your feet together take your time gently inhale half lift lengthen the spine exhale hinge from the hips go down and inhale samasthiti who catch your breath find your comfortable breath two more rounds of it Now I know this is challenging, but this is the way you build up your strength. So stay with me. Take breaks if you want to, but do not quit. Let us go for the second round. Feel the sweat really helps you lose weight also. Ready? Let's start. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, hinge from the hips, go down. inhale half lift exhale plank or half plank whatever you choose i'll do the half plank variation here take a breath in here exhale sashtang namaskar or chaturanga inhale up dog exhale down dog both the feet in v shape slowly with an inhale right leg forward both the hand raised or to your heart whatever you choose veer bhadra asana a take a breath in here exhale both of the hand down right feet back plank or half plank exhale chaturanga inhale up dog exhale down dog good same thing other side feet again in v shape slowly with an inhale left leg to the front veer bhadra asana a always remember the front knee and heel has to be in one line breathe in here exhale once again plank who and chaturanga inhale a dog exhale down dog five counts here to regain your breath you can always come into your child pose here if you want to if you're a complete beginner and you're finding it a little difficult no need to judge yourself don't be very harsh on yourself stay in your child pose take a break one Two, three, 
फोर एंड फाइव विथ एन इन हेल ब्रिंग बोथ ऑफ यूर फीट फॉरवर्ड टेक योर टाइम नो रश एंड इन हेल हाफ लिफ्ट एक्सेल हिंज फ्रॉम हिप्स गो डाउन इन हेल समस्त थी गुड लेट इज गो फॉर द फाइनल राउंड ऑफ विन्यासा बी एंड देन विल टेक ब्रेक एंड ऑब्जर्व द ब्रेथ फाइंड योर कंफर्टेबल ब्रेथ अगेन विन्यासा बी वंस अगेन इन हेल रेज यू आर्म्स अप एक्सेल हिंज फ्रॉम द हिप्स गो डाउन इन हेल हाफ लिफ्ट एक्सेल गो फॉर योर प्लैंक और हाफ प्लैंक Take a breath in here. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Up Dog. Exhale, Down Dog. Feet in the V shape. Slowly with an inhale, right leg to the front. Raise yourself. Veer Bhadra Asana A. Breathe in here. Exhale. both of the hands down right feet back half lift or complete plank inhale here exhale chaturanga inhale up dog exhale down dog breathe breathe again both of the feet in v shape left leg to the front raise yourself up and veer bhadrasana a once again on the other side breathing in here exhale plank take a breath in here exhale chaturanga inhale up dog exhale down dog relax Breathe. Five breath. Again, you can take a child pose if you want to, or you can challenge yourself in down dog. This is the last down dog we are taking for today. One, two, three, four, and five. Both of the feet to the front. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hinge from the hip, go down, padhasta, and inhale. Samastiti. Awesome, amazing. Slowly come into a very comfortable seated posture. Now look, you can look at me. I'm really sweating a lot here. Who? So whoever thought that yoga is all about sitting. in a very calm posture and really you can't lose your weight through yoga bring them onto the mat share this video with them <laughs> and now be very proud of yourself that you have started understanding vinyasa let us now very gently come into sukhasana and breathe close your eyes breathe and relax push away all the judgments it's all about giving your day one so however your practice look today we don't need to at all analyze it really do not analyze but relax and breathe be proud of yourself and relax i remember when i first did vinyasa it seemed to be the most difficult thing on earth and slowly we keep progressing we keep understanding our breath and now we'll stay here for 1 minute in complete silence breathe keep your face relaxed do not frown up the eyebrows
You can even incorporate Ujjayi breath if you want to. Very gently with few little blinks open your eyes. And let us take Shavasana. Remember, you do not ever have to skip Shavasana. It's very important to actually let your body absorb the practice. So please stay with me. Lie down on your mat, on your back. Spine relaxed. Both of the feet relaxed. Hands right next to your body. Close your eyes and breathe. I hope you found this sequence challenging. You learned about Vinyatsa. Stay with me. Practice this every day and soon you'll start feeling very comfortable in Vinyasa. And now we'll stay in our Vinyasa for two long minutes. Eyes closed and breathe. Shavasana is definitely the most challenging posture. <laughs> so see if you can challenge to keep your mind calm and breathe. very gently even without opening your eyes slowly bring both of your legs together take your arms overhead take a deep stretch from the fingertips to the toes slowly bending the knee curl to your one side take a moment here and then lift yourself up in a comfortable seated posture Spine straight again. Bring both of your hands to your heart center. Start rubbing your palms against each other. Create some warmth. And place both of the palms to your face, covering the eyes. Feel the warmth on your face. Gently release the palms. Open your eyes. Look straight into your palms. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this session with me. This session is very good for every beginner who want to challenge themselves and who want to learn vinyasa. So make sure you practice this regularly. Also share the videos with your friends and family and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. I hope to again see you in the next session. Until then, take care of yourself. Thank you.